What I have here today is a, another Bun Special video written, directed, edited by Bun Special, graphic by Bun Special, stunts by Bun Special, handcrafted with the finest ingredients, sound effects by Bun Special. This video is performed by an amateur. Do not attempt at home. No watches were harmed in making this video for entertainment only. <coughs> oh, I'm in over a cough. I can zoom in. Yeah, so I got this. Uh, this is that fusy cone. That uh, from that marine chron chronometer <laughs> with the. Uh, where the chain got uh, yanked out over here. I guess it's there. Where is that? Yeah, whatever. I'll have to show a close-up later. I'll show a close-up now. Um, even though I probably did it before in another video. Let's see. You really can't tell, can you? Yeah, the chain on this uh, got yanked out with the pin, so it's the whole... Not a hole anymore, it goes all the way through. Can we see that? I don't know if we can see it. Anyway. So I had to take this thing apart, I figure. Why was I focusing now? Bastard. Yeah, so. I already took it apart, but I'm taking it apart for the camera now, because I figure maybe someone wants to see this stuff. I'll touch it with my disgusting fingers. Uh, so first thing, uh, I thought maybe I had to pull out the, remove this uh, little pinion here, but, uh, I found out I didn't have to remove the pinion. Uh, it's got a pin. See the pin there. Pin goes out one way only. Uh, oh, it, was, it went out this way. I already, like I said, I already took this thing apart, so it's easier now because everything moves before I had to really push it. So this pin slides right. It looks like it's a brass pin. I need a container. How come I don't have any containers? Yeah, it's brass pin. I'm pretty sure it's a brass pin they used. Oh, what's that? There's freaking dead ants in here. Well, I can't use that. It has dead ants in it. I'll use these crystals. Here's this yellow crystal. <coughs> ah. Okay, I took the pin out. And next thing is the, uh, I don't know what these parts are called, so. This part. How did this part come out? Oh, this part slid out. This part is, uh, it comes out. You gotta, uh, rotate it back and forth, and eventually it lifts up. It gave me grief. Ah, it's still gonna give me grief. Oh, the reason it gives me grief is because the oil and grease is so... Oh, come on. Now you came up before. Ah, oh, now it doesn't want to come up. Damn. Maybe if I grab it over here. There you go. You're getting there. Probably have to have special pliers, you know, with the radiuses and stuff on them. Make it easier. And that slides off. The amount of dried, look at all that. dried uh, well it's not totally dry but it's definitely uh, not slippery as much as it used to be okay so we got that off and then what did I figure out next oh how'd this come off I think I just pulled it off yeah it pulls off and there you got the uh, the click stuff Again, all dried oil, and in here you see all dried oil. I have to clean all that up. 
<laughs> and now you have still a few more pieces. Damn, how come I'm going to focus? Well, you have the maintaining. You can see the maintaining spring sticking through. You have to separate this. This. I should have read the book on it, but this I figured I'd stick my fingernail in between the two pieces. And I just went around in the perimeter. Whoop, there you go. <coughs> oh. And it separated. So there's the maintaining power spring and more dried grease. Gotta clean out. This spring looks like it comes out. I can see a pen over there. Is that a pen? Yeah, that's a pen. It's not a hole, it's a pen. This is my focus, and then there's the other one. This book, I'm not going to take this out right now because it doesn't look like a pain in the ass. And <coughs> oh man! And then this is the uh, click stuff. More dry grease oil. You see where it wears along the perimeter. And yeah, oh here, this is you can see where it wears. And you see the clicks. They move. I think they move. It's like I said. It's all dried oil. It moves very slowly. Uh, oh, excuse me. So it has to be uh, again. Uh, well, how will I do? I'm not gonna take these screws out. Probably. Or maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, definitely take these uh, click things out. That's for sure. And the springs. Clean that up. Anyway, so the reason I had to take this thing apart. Uh, how should I put this? Maybe I'll just put it back together. I find if I put things back together, there's less of a chance of losing something. Uh, you got the pin <coughs> oh, sticking up here. It's got a corresponding hole over there. And so you pretty much line the pin in the hole. If I can do that. Oh wait, you got a little click. No, no. Oh wait, what am I doing? I'm doing this wrong. It goes this way. That's why it wouldn't fit together. You got the pen in the hole. And it just pushes, presses together. Oh, of course it doesn't want to cooperate. There you go. And it's got, uh, it goes around in there. This, this centerpiece. So. I got these together. I can't lose this now. It would be very difficult to lose. Uh, the reason I took this thing apart... Well, you can see the click, all that dried oil and junk. Uh, okay, so I gotta get a new pin. I have to get a pin. I gotta put a pin in this thing. There's the hole on the bottom part. But it looks like it's a little not smooth anymore. A little bulged over here from being pulled out. And yeah, so I gotta get a pen to fit that hole. And like I said, I gotta fix this. I wonder if we can see that where it tore. No, it doesn't wanna focus. Ah, it doesn't focus anyway. So that's why I tried to take this apart. Well, besides to clean it, but so I can get a pen in there. Uh, what am I gonna do? Where's the piece of paper? <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh yeah, a piece of paper. Oh, I get sick. Air conditioning made me sick. It goes on at night, and I didn't have enough covers on or something. And oof, I woke up. Oh, I don't feel good. And I'm coughing. I got sick. That was that was a nasty week because I was sick. I gotta work. Anyway, let's see. Oh wait, let's see. Let's draw what we got. Let me use pen. Let me use pen. So this is enlarged. So this is like the the fusey thing or whatever, you know. Ah, shouldn't have done it anyway. Anyway, uh, you got the where the hole is, where the pen, where the chain is. It's exaggerated. Well, it looks like this now. Let's see. So the pen would go here. But all this metal in here is removed, so it tore through. <coughs> oh yeah! So 
So what I figure what I have to do is uh, I have to remove material. I, have to, I think I mentioned this, but I'm going to draw it. I got to put remove material, make it like at an angle, and maybe go up like this, and then have another angle like that. So it's like a wedge shape. But you really can't see that, can you? Let's see. You be kind enough to focus. Yeah. So like I said, it was torn through all the way through like you see here and that's where the pen was so I gotta do a remove material and make it like a wedge shape and then get a piece of brass or something, yeah a piece of brass and make it to size and then put it in there and maybe solder it. I'm thinking if I can get fancy, which I don't know if I can, uh, if this is the, the fusy cone you put a radius and then the piece that you insert, you, uh, well, you put a groove in it like that. So it's sort of like, uh, you know, locked in. I don't know if I can do that, but I think that would be the best thing. And then you solder it, I guess. I guess it's solder. I don't know if it's going to solder because it's a big hunk of brass. Well, let's draw another way. Let's draw it the way it is. So it goes like that. Exactly. It's really blown up. So yeah, the, it's supposed to be material all in here. And the pen goes here. But it, all this material is removed. Tore out. So like I said, I gotta do... Something like this, I think. Or if I... I mean, maybe I can just do the whole damn thing, but I, I don't know. I think I'll start doing this. If that doesn't work, then I'll just do the whole damn thing. The less of the material I remove, the better. So that's my plans for this... Uh, Fusy cone, unless I find someone to do it for me. There's maybe a few people out there that can do probably this stuff. <coughs> but you know, it's just so few people and they're very busy. Uh, it's hard to get in contact. It's hard to get in contact with them. Well, maybe I'll try it. At least I'll clean this up a bit. It's filthy. Anyway, uh, I think I've rambled on long enough. Oh, I got some pocket watches here. Yes, the people like to look at pocket watches. Yay! A bunch of these uh, Illinois. I like this this dial. I got a bunch of Illinois. 18 sides. Pocket watch. This one you've seen before. I worked on this one. Uh, this one you've seen before. I showed you this one. This one. Wait, which one did you see before? Oh, this one you saw. This one, uh, this one the bezel doesn't screw on good. It's annoying the crap out of me. Oh, I didn't want to push the crown in. Oh, man. What's wrong with this one? I bought this one and I... Non-runner, of course. That's the only way to buy them. Non-running. Uh, this one, I believe the roller jewel is... Yeah, I think the roller jewel is kaput. I looked at it already. So it spins freely, but the second hand does not want to move. So I looked at it, and it's the roller jewel is not there. I don't know where the roller jewel is. I don't even remember if it was broken off or just totally missing. Either way, it needs a roller jewel. So one of these days I was going to fix this. I got this a while ago. But, uh, you know, I haven't been able to get... These bezels, really, I don't know why it doesn't want to screw on right. Maybe the people before me messed it up. Wait, wait, wait. I think I got it. Did I get it? Nah, see this side's just about touching and this side is a big gap, so... I don't know. I could check the serial numbers. What's the serial number on this? They have a number? I didn't even scratch a number in there. Yeah, I have a feeling maybe it's not the right bezel. Usually they scratch something in there with Roman numerals. But I'm not seeing that. Yeah, I'm not seeing that, so I don't know. I don't know. Maybe at one time it was screwed on rightly, uh, correctly. I don't know. Oh, wait, wait. Did I get it? I think I got it. Oh, I got it. Wow. I got it to fit. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't open it up again then. Yeah, even gap all the way around. No gap. Wow. Maybe it's a little bit. No, I don't know if that's a gap. Well, anyway, 
So that's a, the things to do. Roll it through. Anyway, so there you go. <coughs> Cheesy cone, uh, semi dissembled to uh, fix that hole. Oops. Thank you for your cooperation. I hope you enjoyed the program. I'm going to put this in the way. And enjoy the rest of your day. Well, I'm going to go up to five. Yeah, I'm back. Uh, you know, I took this thing apart, but I didn't show totally apart. Uh, like I said. So I think people people want to see that. So I'm going to just take it a totally apart. I took it totally apart. Well, I didn't, I didn't do too good of a job on this yet. Anyway, so let's take this thing totally apart. The previous clip, uh, not totally apart. I noticed, uh, like on here, they drilled a little uh, the hole. Well, uh, yeah, small hole depression. And then you can zoom in. Yeah, right over here, there's a, a little drill hole. So I believe that means this is the wide end. I've, I've seen that. So this is going to come apart real easy because, like I said, I already took this apart and cleaned it up a bit. But I didn't show it on camera, the whole disassembly. That reflection's bright. So there's the pin. And this thing. Yes. Oh, whoops. It just fell apart. See? It slides right off. Well, what you do is you take this part off first. And then you take this part off. But so I didn't oil this. I just cleaned it. Well, of course, I didn't clean the back of this too good, did I? Well, I never took... I took cleaned. Well, anyway, yeah, then this slides off. And you have this. And then you separate the uh, maintaining power from the click. You stick your fingernail in there. comes off real easy now because I got rid of all the crusty oil. I really didn't clean this. I didn't take this spring out yet. Springs like this scare me a little bit, but uh, I notice it's got a pin on this side, so I'm going to push on the pin and push on that pin, and then i got to cover it with something because in case it wants to shoot away, but I'll have to do that. If you look at the previous clip, yeah, that I got rid of like most of that oil. I think it's just staining, but uh, I don't have a cleaner that uh, removes stains. I'll put this in here too. Now this is the side of the click. On the previous clip, uh, these clicks didn't move too nicely. Now they're moving nicely because I removed all the uh, crud. Uh, let's take these off then. Where are my screwdrivers? I didn't show that. Let's see, maybe it's the yellow one. Let's see what we got. Oh, I can go a little bit bigger. What's bigger? I don't even know what bigger is. Let's see. So, for the click, you got uh, two screws holding each one. We got, and this is the pin for the uh, actual click. Those two screws are for the spring. These springs look like they're made out of some sort of copper alloy. I did not uh, put a magnet to them to see. Oh, also, uh, yeah, you got a drill hole here. And a drill hole here, so these this is where this uh, spring goes back. I guess maybe the holes are uh, done by hand or something, so they may not line up if you reverse them or change them. This should come out easy because I took it apart already. Oh, you're not seeing that. Let's see, maybe zoom in a little bit more. Yeah, I'm going to keep these separated. And to get the spring out, I would, uh, I pressed on the, the locating pin. Where can you, you can see it? Can you see it? Where's the locating pin? It's right here. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a pin. And I would push on the pin with the screwdriver and it would fall out. So this is uh, the one spring. And uh, let me get another container because I want to keep those separate. 
let's see. I should do it flat, but I'm trying to squeeze this in. I don't want it to be too long. Oh, that, that, well, that one, this screw came up. This screw didn't come up because it pushed the spring out. So there's the spring. Let me take and push out this screw. How come it doesn't want to cooperate? Oh, it's crooked. There you go. Now, what I noticed is uh, these uh, click things, they kind of like riveted them on. <laughs> they put it on the post and then they, it looks like they banged it. So they don't want to come off. Well, I gotta do a better job on this. I thought I cleaned this off nicely. I'm gonna hit it up again with solution. Damn. I did a piss poor cleaning job. Well, I shall do it again. What is that? There's some crud there. I don't know what that is. Anyway, so that's. I'll put that in there. Clicky things don't come off. And then the last piece. We got this. Uh, the, uh, I don't know what you call that. The ratchet wheel. I don't know how that's located. I don't remember. I don't see any marks. No drill holes. Oh, okay, so this is where the pin is. Pin is there. I see this is scratched. I think I did that. I scratched it. So I'll put the scratch where the pinhole is. Let's do it that way. So, yeah, if you remember, look at these previous clips. I need a bigger screwdriver. This thing is really, really oily. So we shall unscrew these screws. These are long. Well, they have to be long because this is where the, uh, the transmission of power takes place. Transmission, I got one more container. So you remove the three screws. Uh, I used popsicle sticks. Let me get my popsicle sticks. I tell you, this thing comes apart real easy once you get rid of all that old oil. Uh, I had to use popsicle sticks to take this off because you really couldn't use pliers. You know... And it lifts off. Yeah, this was a beast to get off before because like all the oil was like glue. It's all... I cleaned all that out. And there it is. Now, I assume the cone is pressed on, so I can't take that off. Wish I could. Now this one. I just remember in one clip I showed that this thing, uh, the stop bar, I opened that up and I uh, cleaned that out so it retracts. But we'll take that off. Let's see this brass thing comes off. Oh good, it came off. So this was, uh, let's see. Is that, uh, well, maybe a little bit, we got a smaller one. Let's try this screwdriver. Yeah, so this is a cover plate. I don't know how that goes on. I don't think it matters too much. Popsicle sticks anyway. That's easy. That, that just oh, there you go. Oh, come on. There you go, you dog. And the cover plate. How did I get the cover plate off? I must have pried it off. 
Everything gets pried off eventually. Yeah, yeah. And that slides off. Oh, that's a solid piece of brass. It's got some oil and stuff on it because I oiled it. I didn't oil any of the other stuff because I, I figured I might have to heat this up. So there is your bar. Uh, I don't know if I want to take this off. Well, let's see if I can take it off without it shooting away. There's a flat spring in there that's uh, curled. Let's see if it wants to cooperate. No. This will come off. I just don't want the spring to shoot away. You know? So there it is. The spring bar, or the stop bar with the spring. There's a hole in that bar. That's where the spring is. And there you go. This thing is now disassembled. That's how you do it. Am I going to put it together now? I don't know. Ah, I'm not going to put it together. Screw that. I'll put it together off camera. Or maybe we should put it together on camera. I don't know. That's going to be a pain. Everything's a pain. Ah, can I do it on camera? Oh, where's the hole? Where is the hole? Oh, there's the hole. Maybe I'm going to regret this. I'm going to back this off. Can I get the spring in the hole? There it goes. Spring is in the hole. Use my disgusting finger. Okay, the spring is positioned. How do I get the... Oh, I the, the bar. Oh, I'm trying to rush this. That's the problem. Oh. Trying to rush this. Where is the hole? Let's see. So you gotta line up the hole on the bar with the spring. I think I did that. Well, maybe I didn't. I want to use my fingers, but... Uh, Oh, this is going to be a pain, because I know what I did last time. I keep on hitting stuff. I lift this up a little bit, and then I can push it down. There you go. And the cover. I don't think the cover matters which way the cover goes. Well, let's see, maybe it does. Okay, it's got wear marks on it, so we're going to put the cover like this. And... Two little screws. I hate when you pick up the screws and they're angled in such a way... Oh, I'm shaking. Why am I shaking? Ah, I'm shaking. I didn't screw it all the way in yet. Oh, there's the other little screw. Uh, be careful when you screw in the screws. You don't want to cross thread. You know, so if it's not going in nicely, you know, back it off and if you turned and try it again, you got steel into brass, steel will win. 
brass will lose. Now you have a stripped hole. Okay, so let's see, does that work? Yeah, it's still uh, a little sluggish though. Yeah, well, well, that spring didn't look too strong. Now we're going to put on the uh, click. I had a scratch mark. Where's the scratch mark? So it goes on. Oh, it only goes on one way because the holes are countersunk. So the scratch mark went where the uh, the hole was for the pin. So that's that. Ah, oh, it was you know it sat up nicely and then it tipped over. Why does it do that? Why does it make my life? Okay, bigger screwdriver. Steady it. A steady, steady, good. Got it in. I'm not going to screw it all the way down until I get them all in. That's why you got to steady it. Oh, come on. It wants to go crooked on me. There you go. Second one. And the third one. Keep on snagging onto stuff, right? Steady it with my finger. Oh, that's why I'm too far away. Okay, now this screwdriver. I'm going to use this screwdriver because that one might be a little bit too wide. Scratch the brass. Let me double check. Okay. I may have to take this apart again. If I have to solder something, I'm going to heat it up. I don't want to do I can take all these parts off. So that's ready. And then we go to click. Ah. Uh, I'll hit this up another day with cleaner again. I thought I, man, I hit it with the toothpick and the, the naphtha with a toothbrush. Ah, man, nah, well, I'm gonna, I'll clean it again. Okay, so this one is the one without the. Oh, this one's with the hole. So this one goes here. Whoops, you're not seeing that. Oh, how does this go? I think it goes like... Man, I don't even know. That goes there. So this one has to go like that. Okay. That's the pin. Oh, I could push the other one. No, let me get the screws in. Where is it? I should get a holder for this. Now you got to be careful when you screw these in because if you push too hard you'll push out the part on the other side. Do you know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, see, it already moved out a little bit. That's why I should do it on the surface. But I'm trying to... When I put it together, that's what I did, but when I'm doing it on camera, it's a different story. So, that one's in. And this one has to go over here like that. So that container is empty. Like I said, this is the one with a hole in the hole, so you gotta watch out for that stuff. Uh, this one, this one may be a little bit more of a pain, because now you're gonna be putting the spring load on it. Where's the pin? What is going on? There you go. Oh, I wish I had two hands. I mean, I wish I had three hands. Where's my popsicle stick? There you go. And this time I'm going to uh, do it on a flat surface because, well, this is not totally flat. I'm working on foam. I'm not going to push it. That doesn't want to go in. Wow, none of these want to go in. I say I don't like it because I rest my hand down. I'm resting it on screwdrivers and all kinds of stuff. How come it doesn't want to screw in? Wow, it's all crooked and everything. Man, it just doesn't want to screw down right. Ah, oh, frig! Damn screw just shot out of that hole. I felt it hit my leg and landed on the floor. Oh, now I gotta look for the damn screw. How did that thing get shot out? I don't believe this crap. Oh, man. See, I should have just put it together off camera. It shot out. How did it shoot out of the hole? How come these screws don't want to go in? Wow, what is going on here? Did I put this thing on upside down? No, it's in right. The pen went in the hole. And now the screws don't want to go in. Wow, what is going on? Come on. Oh, that's why. It's not located right. The thing is shifting because it's just being held in place by one pin. Maybe this screw might work. That's why, because it's being pushed over because it's, uh, ah, oh, man, I got to push it over to get it to lock. Oh, damn it. What a pain in the ass. I got to use my dirty finger now. 
where is it? Yeah, I gotta push it over. Yeah, because it's, it's under tension, or, yeah, tension or something. I can't do anything now because I lost a damn screw. I felt it bounce off my leg. Where's the flashlight? I just had the flashlight. There it is. Now the battery's going down on the flashlight. It ticks me off. Oh well. Ah, uh, that stinks. That truly, truly stinks. I gotta look for the damn screw. I felt it bounce off my leg because I'm not wearing any pants. I thought this would be quick and easy to do. But there's always something that's going to screw you up. You know, I'm... Oh, yeah. Let's see, I did a perimeter check with the magnet and what did the magnet get me? Nothing. Ah, oh, damn it. This stinks. I hate it when this crap happens. Well, I gotta stop the camera look for the damn screw. Yeah, I found the screw. I used my trusty uh, magnet. That's why I don't work with pants on, because if the screw shoots away, if it bounces off my leg, which this one did, at least I know what direction it went. I advise you to work on clocks and watches in your underwear. That way you can uh, get that extra sense of touch if something shoots away. Oh, come on, come on. Oh yeah, it's gonna fight. Like I say, everything fights. Maybe I gotta push it. Oh man, maybe I gotta push it. That's, I don't know. Yeah, I had to push the spring. What a pain in the neck. There you go. It's back together. I didn't oil it yet, but... Okay. And then uh, this goes... Well, it only goes one way. And you rotate it. So it's flush. And then... This only goes one way. Oh wait, there's a pin on this, I think. Yeah, there's a pin for the spring. That pin lines up with a hole there, so that's how that goes on. With the maintaining power. Will it cooperate? No, it doesn't want to cooperate. I don't get much cooperation. Wow, why doesn't it cooperate? just doesn't want to cooperate. Well, maybe I have to put them together like this first. Let's do that. And then maybe now I'll get cooperation. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Put them together and then. And then you put this uh, piece on. Now this one's got the hole. Now I noticed on this, uh, you can see they ground uh, some sort of line there. I don't know if you can see that. There's nothing on this side. With this side they ground the line, which tells me that's the wide opening. It's facing the camera, and then this thing has the dot for the wide opening. That's the way I took it off. It's 
so where's the hole? There's the hole. And that's the wide opening of the hole. And where's the pin? The pin goes... Oh, it doesn't want to go in nicely. There you go. And I have to fit it. Now how come that doesn't... Uh, Oh, it's not lining through. Everything has to be a pain in the ass. It's not a pain in the ass. You're just not doing it right. Anyway, so I put the pin in. So that's basically it. Now, before... Now you can hear it actually click. Oh, the damn clock went off at the same time. It clicks before it wouldn't click. Well, before it still worked before, but it wouldn't make the clicking noise because it was so much gooey oil. And my uh, stop bar, so I don't overwind it. That goes in and out. It's a little sluggish though. Eh, it's good enough. And I put the little brass thing on. Oh, this took me a lot longer than I thought because I lost the damn screw. So there you go, the thing is assembled. Finally. Anyway, thank you for your cooperation. I hope you enjoyed the program. Enjoy the rest of your day.